Early accurate diagnosis of cerebral palsy is incredibly important so we can maximise children's neuroplasticity. We know on average the age of diagnosis is somewhere between 12 and 24 months of age. Now that's a really long time after a brain injury to start early intervention. Our aim is that every child with cerebral palsy gets an early diagnosis so that they can receive early intervention and so that their parents can uh, have support during this difficult time in their lives and also so that they can um, access the support of other parents. We know that most parents say to us, I prefer to know early. And that seems confronting at first, but why they're saying I prefer to know early is because what they're really saying is I want to know how to help my child. We developed international clinical practice guidelines. We followed a framework called GRADE. GRADE uses two processes. First, we look at the best available evidence and then a multidisciplinary panel, which um, included 40 members, world experts in diagnosis, people with cerebral palsy and parents of people with cerebral palsy. And that's led us to be able to make 12 very strong recommendations from high quality evidence and a panel consensus. There are three tests which uh, strongly recommend and can strongly predict cerebral palsy early. Those three tests are neuroimaging, which about 87% to 89% of the time can predict cerebral palsy. The second test we use is something called the Prechtel's General Movements Assessment. It's a spontaneous observation of the child's movement and it's a little marker into the window of their brain telling us about the quality of their movement. If it's abnormal in a particular way, it tells us risk for cerebral palsy. And then the the third tool that we found was very helpful was something called the Hammersmith Infant Neurological Evaluation and that examination looks at a whole range of things such as reflexes, movement and posture and we score that. But it's a clinical diagnosis and we always recommend a combination of tools. But we now have two clear pathways, newborn intensive risk and later infancy detectable risks and either way children with cerebral palsy can have a diagnosis under six months of age.